Hey again, folks. One more problem for today. I feel that the wording that's used here isn't entirely clear, so let's go over it real quick. We have this 30 meter long bungee cord, and our father-in-law is going to use it when he jumps off a platform that's 45 meters above the ground. He will only fall 41 meters before coming to a stop, and the bungee cord that he's using was chosen by us after doing some backyard testing. The goal here is to use the information regarding our father-in-law's jump to figure out the spring constant of the bungee cord. Then use that in conjunction with our testing force of 380 newtons to figure out how far the cord would have stretched during our testing. Hopefully that makes sense. To start, let's draw a picture. Here's our father-in-law standing on the jumping platform located 45 meters above the ground. Remember we told him that at the end of the jump, he will come to rest just four meters above the ground. Instead of using the ground as the final value in our y direction in calling that zero, let's call his stopping point 41 meters down as the new y final is equal to zero. This would mean that instead of being 45 meters above zero, he's now only 41 meters above this new zero mark. We'll have to keep that in mind when we calculate our energies. Speaking of which, here's our energy conservation equation. There's only one object falling here, so we don't have to add any additional terms, but there are some that we can eliminate. Before our father-in-law steps off the platform, he isn't moving. Thus, the initial kinetic energy has to be zero. The same would be true at the bottom of the bungee jump where he safely stops. So we can set the final kinetic energy to zero as well. Additionally, we said that the height at the bottom of the jump corresponds to a new final y value of zero. So therefore, the potential energy has to be zero there as well. This leaves us with the sum of the initial potential energy and some amount of work balancing each other out. The question is, what work are we talking about here? Well, the goal is to solve for the spring constant K, which is always positive. The only way that we can get a positive result out of this is by using the work done by the cord, which is negative one half kx squared, where the x value that we use is the length that the cord stretches during the jump. We can move the work term over to the right hand side to make it positive, multiply both sides by two, then divide both sides by the square of the jump stretch distance to get an expression for the spring constant. Now that we know what that is, we can figure out how much the bungee cord would have stretched during our backyard testing by using the elastic force equation. The force on the left is our 380 newtons, which means we can divide both sides by our recently solved expression for K and then plug it all in. We'll get F divided by a fraction, but that's okay. When you divide by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by the inverse of that ratio, which means we'll end up sticking the square of the jump stretch distance into the numerator alongside F. Go ahead and plug in the numbers and multiply. And in the end, we'll get a testing stretch distance of approximately 0 0.602 meters.
that's it. We're done. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you in the next problem.